Thank you very much. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to, to, to talk about the, the cyrodexin uh, family members interaction with an uh, intracellular uh, the structure, particularly ER and also mitochondria. Uh, one of uh, the two of my uh, colleagues are here, particularly uh, the Matsuo and also Yoshihara. Both of them are deeply involved in, in the work uh, we are doing. Uh, in this old slide, uh, uh, we, we have been working uh, together with my colleagues in, in Korea, Hasu uh, Guriz, in, in the these past years, in cyrodoxin and the target uh, the, the protein system, particularly paroxyrodoxin systems. Cyrodoxin, cyrodoxin uh, members and the system are involved in, as you know very well, in the redox regulation of intracellular signaling and extracellular compartment also. Uh, this is an old cartoon. Uh, the here you will see uh, in the human or the animal cells, there are nearly 30 of the cyrodoxin family members protein. Uh, cyrodoxin one is the ubiquitous intracellular compartment, but in ER, you have a variety of the cyrodoxin family members having the, the, the active site, disciples. Uh, particularly in mitochondria, you have an uh, uh, cyrodoxin 2, which is unique to, to mitochondria. And today, uh, we will discuss about the, these cyrodoxin families and also target protein, particularly uh, uh, VD. Uh, UP1 or cytoxin binding protein 2, which is quite relevant in the energy metabolism uh, and also the disease condition. Uh, in the very old days, when uh, we were work, working uh, the, in the uh, viral-related, retrovirus-related disease, which was formerly uh, called uh, adult leukemia caused by the uh, uh, the human retrovirus, HTLV-1, uh, we happen to find eight factors uh, produced uh, from the, these transformed cells. These protein, after the cloning, uh, were found to be uh, the current cytodoxin-1. Uh, it was around eight, the mid of 80. Uh, several laboratories in the world have uh, the, uh, the found this cytoxin 1 as a kind of cytokine or co-cytokine types of molecules in variety of disease conditions. Here is a summary of the, the, uh, the cytoxin families signaling from outside of the cells, uh, cytosol and the, the kind of ER mitochondria and intracellular compartment. Uh, actually, the variety of the stress signaling uh, is uh, coming into the cells, and the cytodoxin and the target proteins are involved in the oxygen reduction related uh, the, uh, activation. Uh, in this particular discussion today, I, I will focus uh, uh, in this uh, unique uh, cytodoxin family member protein named the TMX. Uh, this is Dr. Matsuo, who uh, uh, you know, happened to find himself as a kind of the family members of the cytodoxin. Uh, rather recently, uh, we, uh, uh, together with Matsuo, have, uh, the, uh, have shown, uh, sorry, the function of the extracellular cytodoxins families, uh, the, the possible uh, the, uh, therapeutic or preventive direction, particularly related to, to inflammation or anti-inflammatory directions. Uh, this is an, uh, a kind of a cartoon uh, which uh, the uh, Matsuo's uh, the, the, the idea uh, related to the disulfide bones, which acts as a 
dynamic redox switches controlling protein-protein interaction on the cell surface. Uh, cell adhesion uh, or the kind of the entry of the virus or other molecules and the membrane fusion uh, in the cytosol is somehow involved in the kind of the, this cutting mechanism. Uh, this is an, a TMX uh, molecule which have an, a membrane <laughs> inserted function as shown here. Uh, this is an, uh, uh, the cartoon of the uh, variety of the cytoxin family members of cytoxin 1 and TMX uh, families. This, this is somehow unique as compared with other cytoxin uh, family members. Uh, these disiol are present in essentially all the molecules, and in the case of TMX, you have this transmembrane area uh, compared with other cytosolic types. Here, uh, the, he found that cytoxin-like domain is here, and the, uh, the transmembrane domain is here, and TMX uh, and, uh, is associated with an carnexin as shown here, and expressed in, localized in ER. Uh, in two to three years ago, uh, we found uh, TMX appeared to be involved in, uh, in the regulation of the, of the uh, inflammatory uh, the direction. Uh, we found uh, in TMX negative uh, the, uh, the mice, uh, without doing anything, the mice lives happy without any uh, phenotype. However, uh, when you introduce uh, the uh, hepatotoxic uh, the insert with an uh, LPS and Garnac, uh, this LPS Garnac uh, the uh, model is to induce the, the inflammatory changes of the uh, liver, and in the case of TMX negative uh, the mice, as compared to wild, with the wild mice, there is a strong, strong inflammatory changes in liver, uh, as shown here. And caspase series, uh, PARP, uh, these are induced strongly in t upon LPS Garnac treatment, as shown here, compared with uh, normal mice. And the internal uh, the, the method, you will see the cell death as shown here. Therefore, with some reason, we don't know clearly at this moment, the TMX is necessary to, to keep some other inflammatory changes to be silent. Uh, it's a stopper. And this is an, uh, a kind of view, like LPS, the Garnac model of the liver injury. Uh, actually, uh, when uh, the uh, inflammatory changes comes into the, the uh, hepatocyte, uh, the sensitization with Garnac, together with uh, uh, repopolysaccharide toxins, will induce some TNF-related signaling to be overshooted, as in here and the caspase mechanism and also prote protective uh, kappa B mechanism. Both of them are uh, actually involved in inflammatory cytokine related uh, the system and TMX is, uh, TMX is involved in the stopping system. Uh, the other the subject uh, we have been working uh, the whole, in, in other disease condition is an cytoxin, another family member uh, called MIF, my, macrophage inflammatory protein. Uh, this is also a family member and involved in the uh, uh, inflammatory changes of the cells. And we found uh, in uh, the kind of the SPR analysis and also the immunoprotein precipitation assay uh, that cytoxin 1 and MIF could form a complex interact with a certain 
uh, level of the bindability as shown here. <coughs> Therefore, the cyrodoxin MIF interaction with the cell surface is uh, doing something to do with an uh, inhibition or control of uh, the MIF related inflammatory changes. This is another uh, the recent uh, the finding uh, we, uh, we have found that this thyroidoxin protein uh, is uh, anti-inflammatory uh, the, uh, uh, the effect from outside of the cells. Uh, this is an, uh, uh, the kind of the mouse model of the changes. Thyroidoxin, uh, recombinant thyroidoxin one, if you add from the outside of the cells, in the case of the mice, the ear, uh, the, uh, the PMA or croton oil induced uh, dermatitis models, uh, cytokine, chemokine production uh, from the, the cells, particularly in this case, keratinocyte, are the inhibited just from the outside of the, uh, outside, uh, of the, of, of the mucous uh, f -serial. Uh, when you uh, the, the apply a recombinant protein from outside of the, mem the, the ear of, you will see uh, this kind of the inhibition of the inflammation uh, as shown here. And the more interesting thing is uh, the variety of the cytokine gene expression, the protein expression was inhibited from outside of the outside of the membrane, TNF alpha, uh, IL1 beta, IL6, uh, uh, MIF, IL6, and MCP1, uh, essentially all the inflammation related cytokine or uh, sort of things are inhibited, uh, not injection, but from outside of the cells. Uh, or the tissues, and do you, you see here there is a uh, clear uh, difference in between in the inhibition by the, uh, the recombinant cytokine addition as compared to the control in this case BSA. So this was uh, more than what we have expected because the injection is, has been considered to be important for uh, for the protection of the uh, inflammatory changes by these kind of protein drugs. However, just from outside, you could protect it nicely. This is an un unpublished data that the, after stimulation with uh, the forborester, this is a major component of a croton oil, and the recombinant thyroidoxin uh, clearly suppressed the expression of in this case, TNF alpha uh, production uh, from the murine keratinocyte cell types, as shown here. Uh, the PMA, BSA is here, PMA is here. In the, in the, the addition of the cytodoxin in the outside of the culture media, you will see the very clear inhibition of the uh, TNF alpha message production. Uh, here, PMA, uh, BSA, and the, the availability of the recombinant cytoxin outside of the culture of the, these cells, you will see this clear down modulation. We don't know how it is, uh, the mechanism is still uh, not clear, but the actually the variety of the inflammatory cytokine protein, or TNX, uh, in this case, uh, the uh, uh, TNF alpha are modulated clearly, nicely from outside of the cells or outside of the tissues. In a collaboration rather recently uh, in Japan, we could be able to show that the cytodoxin protein could protect against the overshoot of the influenza-induced inflammatory lung disease in the animal model, mouse model, as shown here. Clear inhibition of the influ influenza virus-induced 
liver or uh, uh, lung disease are protected. And the, we are interested in the mechanism, how it was inhibited. Actually, TNF-alpha uh, gene expression and the protein expression in this influenza infection was nicely inhibited a dose dependently by reduction protein here. And uh, not just TNF-alpha, but CXCL1 uh, here uh, is also uh, inhibited as you are here. So uh, the, uh, not just the skin, but the variety of the, the mucosal or, or the, in this case, GI tract mucosal membrane, uh, the, we expect that cytoxin or cytoxin related product could be able to control, modulate inflammatory, massive inflammatory changes from outside uh, of the cells or tissues. Here uh, we show that from the practical direction, not just a recombinant protein, but a kind of extract, uh, the enriched cytoxin enriched extract from the, uh, in this case, Japanese sake breweries, uh, these sake derived cytoxin enriched fraction appear to have an effective anti inflammatory or anti ulcer form formation. And then you uh, the feed the mice with an uh, cytoxin extract enriched uh, the food, control food and sake food. And in this particular experiment, this is showing that the indomethacin, a uh, COX-2 inhibitor, uh, induced strong uh, the inflammatory or ulcer formation was blocked as shown here. Uh, other stress-induced in, uh, ulcer is also protected. So the cytoxin by, by itself have an uh, effect of the anti-inflammatory uh, the effect. Uh, to be used from outside of the tissues. And here, uh, they, they will focus on the cytotoxin target molecule, VDUP1, or in other words, named cytotoxin uh, TXNIP, or cytotoxin binding to protein 2, which we have been working for in the past uh, more than 10 years. It's a negative regulator of the cytotoxin, and suppressor of some of the oncogenesis and also involved in infection immunity. And in particular, glucose lipid metabolism is de deeply involved in this uh, the cytoxin target molecules. Uh, cytoxin and this target molecule, TBP2, uh, is involved in but the cell cycle control of the, some of the some of the uh, uh, the cancer model. In our case, uh, the, we have been working for many years of the HGLV retroviral related leukemia named ATL. In this case, uh, the uh, actually the uh, TBP2 molecule appear to be involved to be to to uh, in in the stopping of the uh, going of the ongoing uh, carcinogenesis product. The, uh, our, our, the, our collaborator, Asan, Dr. Asan, who is now in, in Yale, have, uh, the, uh, have been working in TBP2 cell reduction interaction, and his supposed, me the supposed view of the TBP2 involvement in intracellular uh, the, uh, interaction uh, using the variety of the target molecules as shown here. Uh, map kinase has a HIF-1 system, uh, et cetera. And this is a more complicated view. Uh, the, today, it's in energy metabolism, uh, the one, one thing uh, I think is important uh, to, to, to show you is that TBP2 by itself is involved deeply in the amelioration of insulin sensitivity or, or other uh, the, uh, uh, the insulin secretion mechanism. Without 
without uh, the directly affecting obesity. This was a work of the recent work of the uh, uh, Dr. Yoshihara, who is now in Sok Institute. So the TBP2 thyroidoxine system is involved in the energy metabolism regulation of the, uh, the insulin-related uh, the, uh, disease and control in, in pancreatic system. Uh, very interesting things which uh, he, he, he needs to, to dissect more is an involvement of this TBP2 thyroidoxine target in the regulation of UCP2, it's an uh, uncoupler in the mitochondria. And so the UCP2 uh, the control uh, is what he is hypothesizing the, uh, in the environment of cytotoxin, cytotoxin si target system uh, here. So TVPs appear to be a key regulator, both in insulin sensitivity or GS. Uh, uh, the in diabetes. So the, this is an, a kind of the, probably the new direction of TBP to cytokine system in the energy uh, the, the metabolism related disease. One more interesting uh, the work, uh, the, our co-workers co have been working with an uh, original uh, the cytokine binding protein degradation of, of the in, in immune systems, uh, actually steroid glucocorticoid related inflammatory changes are involved in, uh, in the T cell related uh, transformation process. And the, he found uh, uh, the cytotoxin TBP2 regulate uh, T cell sensitivity to glucocorticosteroid uh, during the transformation process. So the sensitivity to steroid appear to be regulated by cytotoxin TBP2 system. And this may be important, not just for the, uh, the leukemogenesis, but for the uh, steroid-related uh, anti-inflammatory process, which is coupled with the cytotoxin TBP2 system. So the, this is an, uh, our uh, the current uh, the view uh, of the uh, cytotoxin TBP2 interaction with an, uh, uh, the inflammasome or the signalosome. Uh, uh, this is con controlling the intracellular redox environment uh, by uh, the super complex of the TBP2 cytotoxin with inflammasome system. Uh, we, our tentative nomenclature, the hypothesis is a redoxisome, redox-related redoxisome idea, which is a cytotoxin TBP signal complex and stress-dependent intracellular traffic uh, membrane-related uh, uh, interaction. And actually, redoxisome appear to be in cytosol, but could trans uh, traverse uh, in nuclear compartment and also the membrane here. And this kind of the interaction upon the variety of the stress signals uh, is in, involved in the uh, stress condition like immune stress or oxidative or mechanical, metabolic and inflammatory uh, the, uh, the stress conditions. This is a kind of the current view that the, uh, the, the inflammasome appear to be more complicated in interaction with an cytotoxin target interaction. Uh, this is an, a kind of the application of our molecules in the variety of the direction. Particularly interesting thing is an, uh, to protect your uh, the stomach, uh, your uh, the respiratory tract from outside of, uh, from outside of the membrane to protect against the inflammation. This is a uh, rather recent uh, shocking uh, the formation of the uh, allergy induction by the wheat, uh, wheat and the protein 
which is induced inductive stress in the uh, inflammation. And the, uh, we, we are using uh, the sake-derived protein, which is, uh, the, is the devoid of the, such an allergen and could be used in the variety of the skin allergy inflammatory changes. Uh, this is anti-inflammatory direction, uh, not just a drug, but for the kind of health skin care direction. So the, uh, the saradoxin member protein could be a kind of a new uh, the, the, uh, uh, the molecules system to, to be used in the health uh, skin and also the mucosal care, including respiratory and also the GI tract. Uh, this is a kind of the, the, uh, the mechanism which is involved in uh, the intracellular, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, redox regulation involving uh, the cytotoxin target uh, system. Next year, uh, we are going to, to have a kind of some meeting related to the, uh, the uh, sorry, the, uh, I, the redox in, in association with SIR uh, meeting in Kyoto in the March. Please show the last one. Yeah, uh, the March, uh, the uh, next year, uh, probably we could be able to see and show this kind of the redox at uh, the next uh, directions meeting. Thank you very much. I would like to ask you at first a technical question. You, you give, uh, in the in vivo experiments, you gave the, the tiomedosin before the inflammation, before the TPA or after? Oh, you mean the before inflammation, the after inflammation? Yes. Uh, the, actually, in the acute, acute inflammation condition, the, uh, just before the inflammatory, for example, in this case, uh, PMA or croton oil, right? So it's, it's yes. good and inflammatory. You have an inflammatory effect. So it's, you don't have a prevention. You have an inflammatory effect, isn't it? That's it. I the, understand. Yeah, the the kind of the in the skin, the animal model, just before the, before the addition of the, the kind of the, the inflammatory or the uh, you, stress. You put yeah. it before, okay. Yeah. So you yeah. have a prevention. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the second uh, is, uh, do you know if the thioridoxin enters this on in the cells, on the cell, in the cells, and uh, do you have any about the transport of thioridoxin? You are asking the intracellular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if it enters in, in, in Actually, the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, we have an cytotoxin, uh, the, the transgenic, you know, transgene uh, the cells and the animals. Therefore, the, the expression in the intracellular, intracellular conditions model are, are abundant already. But practically, in clinical direction, you cannot do, do, the, 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 do the kind of the treatment by uh, the, the kind of the, the application in intracellular expression. The, uh, in, in drug direction, the kind of the, uh, the cytokine-like molecule or the growth factor-like molecule are always highly, you know, the, uh, the, the have a difficulty from the regulation of the potential carcinogenesis. That's why we, we didn't push this direction, but actually the uh, that we, we have a kind of animal model and the expression system also.